Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video Los Angeles Chargers franchise. We are here in the divisional round of the playoffs. Um, we just came off an undefeated season. And we're also facing the only team to beat us in about two years. So, very impressive. It's two years in a date, but it's really just a two years to beat us in the past season. Basically, if that makes sense. Because I know, like, the time we faced them was a fourth trade deadline, which means it had to be, obviously, last season, but before the, you know, the timeline and whatever. Probably doesn't make any sense. But if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys gotten ready. Hit that like button if you are enjoying the video so far. There's only beginning the video. How, how much could you really enjoy? <laughs> but still leave a like. Um, yeah, we are here in the original... We're actually going to go over regular season stats and awards. As you see, Justin Herbert led the league in passing touchdowns, passing yards for the, I feel like, second straight year. Kareem Hunt led the league in almost all categories that had to do with running. And Dorian Dale led the league in receiving yards and receiving touchdowns. Let's go over our team stats. Uh, Justin Herbert threw for over 4,700 yards. 43 touchdowns and 20 interceptions. I feel like if we could have threw like 15 interceptions and maybe like 40, somewhere near the 50 touchdown range, we could have been an MVP conversation. I think we were like in seventh last time I checked. We'll obviously see later on. But what I do want to check is his, uh, you know, his season stats and in the past years. This year has been kind of a down year. It's his worst year since his first year. That, yeah, that makes sense. His worst year since his first year. He's been throwing over 20 interceptions for the past three years. So, we got to kind of clean that up. But also has been throwing... He never threw below 30 touchdowns. So, that's also very good. He has two years remaining on his contract. So, which means next year is going to be a big contract year for Justin Herbert. We're obviously going to try to re-sign him next year. But... You know, we're going to see our, our money situation look, and we might have to look to not bring some people back to bring him back. We don't know yet. And I want to check his awards. What has he won? He's a four-time Pro Bowler, Offensive Player of the Week, and I think he was last year's best quarterback. On to rushing yards. I said Kareem Hunt did lead the league in rushing. 1,700 yards, almost 1,800 yards. And 22 touchdowns, average five, uh, five on the ground. I was say five point. I don't know what the fuck I was say. He <laughs> yeah, five on the ground. Had a really good season, and yeah, I think this is his best season since he came. Since he got here, um, obviously last year he did have a thousand yards, but he doesn't wasn't as dominant. Didn't have the touchdowns. Because of uh, Justin Jones. Was it Justin Jones? No. Justin Jackson was vulturing all his touchdowns. He would get like on the one, two yard line just Jones to come in to rush it in. I mean, Ron Jones did that a little bit this year, but not as much as Justin Jones. Ron, Ron Jones was a good addition. He was a good backup. Obviously, we didn't rush the ball that much when he only had 41 attempts on the season. It's all right. You know, he still had a good year for a backup. He was also in the receiving game, too. Speaking of receiving, Dorian Dale, um, I believe he's on a contract year next year. This is going to be a big contract year for most of our players who has had a good season. Um, he's has He has been having a good season since he came in the league. Obviously, over 1,500 yards, 20 touchdowns, dominant. Joe Reed, same for him. Even though he hasn't has been dominant, he's still been, having, been putting up numbers. We're going to go check his uh, stats for the season. And if you look, yeah, he's just been averaging over 1,000 yards. Obviously, last year was his best season. 2,000 yards on the line of scrimmage. Um, is that? I don't even know. That's what you say for receivers. <laughs> but he did have 2,000 yards last season. He obviously took down notch a little bit this year since he's playing the number one role. Obviously, he was playing slot the past couple years. or well, the past two years. 20 touchdowns, still up there with touchdowns, even though he's playing in a different role. And very good. I think he's coming up on a contract. Yep, next year contract. So, so far we see two people that need contracts next year. Dorian Dale and Justin Herbert. Once again, he hasn't had a fantastic season like he had in season one. We guess you go see that. 
Cause you look at 2020 season, we had we hit him for a thousand over a thousand yards, 14 touchdowns. It was fucking fantastic. Then he slowed down a little bit, 913, eight touchdowns, and he slowed down even more. Like this probably his worst year yet. With uh 745, five touchdowns. Then we kind of picked up a little bit more, even though I feel like wasn't getting him involved as much this season. I feel like this was the least we got him involved, but stats show that he was involved um a lot more, especially in twenty twenty two. I think he got injured in twenty twenty two. That's why his stats are so low, if I do remember that correctly. I believe he did get injured. But is you is you are you coming up with a contract? You actually are. Oh my god, it's gonna be a big um free agency for us next year. So like this upcoming free agency, I'm I'm gonna have to look to not sign people. Cause I have to remember we have to save money. The only person we have to re-sign is Caesar Ruiz. I have to remember that. Nero Diggs led the team in tackles. Right behind him was Emmanuel Wilson and Greedy Williams. Nero Diggs also in this Hadley. So a bunch of um like secondary people getting a lot of tackles this season. No one over a hundred tackles. Derwin Diggs almost got over a hundred, but couldn't quite get there. Tackles for loss, I believe. Our t- I feel like our team really did good in that department. And Sat showed he did. Ten Wilson had 16. And right behind him, 14 with Kenneth Wayne Jr. Joey Wilson had 12. Derwin James had 10. Jerry Tilly had 9. Drew Clark Cl- had 7. So we almost had six people with 10 plus tackles for loss. 10 or more tackles for loss. That makes more sense. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> and uh, for sacks, we had two people with over 10. Which is Joey Bosa and Chen Wilson. They were really getting after the quarterback this season. As you see, their stats really were similar to one another. Um, Joey Bosa with 12 uh, tackles lost. Chen Wilson with 6. 16, I meant. And Joey Bosa 13 and a half. Chen Wilson 11 and a half. The rest were like, eh. Trayvon Tapp was, I feel like he got his stats very early in the season. And then he just never really got him again. And moving on to Intos. Derwin James probably led the league with seven, or somewhere close to leading the league with seven. Lloyd Gilman with four. Lloyd Gilman and Troy Abke, most of those were users, I feel like. Well, at least Troy Abke. Let me say that. Troy Abke was users. And even Derwin James, some of his was users. Well, let me say most of his was users. I wish he had a stat for that, user picks. I wish he had a stat for that. And I think that's all we're going to get into for uh, season stats. We're going to go over awards now. Obviously, we probably didn't win anything, and we don't win MVP. Cream Hunt, number two. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Probably should have checked Russell Wilson's stats, but I don't know. I really don't care about that much. And just Herbert at seven, like I said. Yeah, last time I did check, he was still at seven, so he did end up there. Offensive player of the year, Kareem Hunt, obviously. He had a very good season. Uh, 1,700 yards, I think I said. Justin Herbert at 7 for that, too. Defensive player of the year, Derwin James. He wins that, what I feel like, again. I'm going to have to check that if he won that. And, uh, yeah, that's it for that. We don't have any other defense rookie. Trayvon Tap at 8. Like I said, he slowed down tremendously. Best QB, Justin Herbert. He picked up in the last couple of weeks. He actually finished 10-6, and six, which is very interesting, also with the Bills. Um, I guess the AFC wasn't as horrible as I thought it was, but 10 and 6 is not outstanding. Best running back, obviously, going to be Kareem Hunt. We actually don't have nobody else there because, you know, whatever. And Dorian Dale is going to be your best wide receiver. Joe Reed at number 8. Offensive line, Quentin Nelson. Fighting to get with no sacks. Cesar Rose is in there, too. Mike Edgar. So I guess our line isn't that bad. Best D-line. Chen Wilson was in there. Joey Bosa was in there. Didn't win it, though. Best linebacker. Uh, nobody. Best DB. Obviously, Derwin James in there. And that's it. Anyways, uh, that was kind of a long intro. I'm calling you on that 12 minutes. All right, game day strategy. Facing the 8-8 eight and eight Jags. This is, like I said, this is the only team to beat us in two years. Um, I think... What's his name was on this team? Austin Eckler. If you remember Austin Eckler from season one, he was very dominant for us. And the games he played for us, he he always had over 100 rushing yards. That was the first running back we had that played really well. 
Now we're gonna get into some upgrades. Tom Brady actually has an upgrade. How nice. Obviously, we're just gonna go strong on him. Good for Tom. That boost him to 71. He is playing up with more rounds. He still starred that. He still could go low key. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's slow as dirt, but if we just get a line to protect him, he can go. Obviously, he doesn't have that strong. He doesn't have a strong arm anymore, but man, this this guy could still he could still play. We might look to re-sign him. Dirty Dale, what do you need? Kind of need that route running to get up. Uh, let's go route runner. We're to a 96 now. And plus two to medium route. That's only route running stat that got up. All right. What is your medium route on now? 91. I'm trying to get that uh, short route in the 90s too. You're playing up with more route though, so it's not really in the 90s. Kareem Hunt, the man who should have won MVP. We're going to go elusive back. Please give me a speed upgrade. And we don't get no speed. We get agility though. What's your agility on? 93. I really want a speed upgrade though. Justin Herbert. Uh, we're just going to try to get him to. There we go. He's now in the 90s. That's going to be a slot. We got a new ability slot. So. That's all I really wanted was get a ability slot. Escape artist. Okay. Not bad. Escape artist. Oh, Hot Route Master. It's over. It's over. I'm, I'm picking Hot Route Master. There's nothing else I need. I mean, Protected would be good, but Hot Route Master would be very fucking good. I like Gambler. I do like it a lot. That's probably the best ability I could choose because it's not like I like to throw dangerous passes, but Gambler helps with throwing less dangerous passes. Denario Diggs, who's, I think he had a good season, kind of. Maybe Manny Mosley had a better season than you, honestly. Um, I don't know what you need. You need, like, press and shit like that. I'm going to go slot. Which is 88. And play rec, awareness, change of direction, and man coverage. I didn't want press to go, so press I should go up. Because your press is kind of low. You are number one corner, and you might need to press those number one receivers. All right, these guys are... No, that's one. Denario. Not Denario. Derwin. There's too many Ds on this team, bro. There really is. Hybrid. You are 99 overall now. This is our first 99. No, it's not. Quit not some 99. Well, this is another one who's in a 99 overall club. If we do look at your like your attributes right here, it doesn't really look like you're 99. I would guess like you're a 97. Well, technically you're a 97. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. Uh, moving on. Moving on. We're going to finally get into this game against the... Yeah, we know. We already got the ability. We're going to get in this game against the 8-8 eight eight Jags. See the Superstar X-Factors. They have a few. Like I said, it's going to be a tough one. We got Jerry Alexander, obviously, thumb one corner. Miles Jack, a good linebacker. Just a good middle linebacker. We're a good linebacker. Austin Eckler, our former Charger. Josh Allen, a very good defensive player. CJ Henderson, another good corner. And Devontae Molden, a wow, they have three good corners. This might be tough. Oh, this will be tough. Because all these people have like mid zone KO and whatnot, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> this, all right. All right. We could do it. Well, that's scary. Just judging by the people we saw on the corner list for them. Well, Superstar. This is X Factor really list. The cornerbacks are good. We can say that. The cornerbacks are fucking very good. Um, I think it's going to be a battle with the defenses. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, man. If we could manage to get consecutive defensive stops, especially defensive touchdowns, because we that's what we have been doing this season. Defensive touchdowns, we will be good. But if we're not, I really don't know, man. Is Colin Kaepernick their quarterback? There's no way that's Colin Kaepernick. This team was led by Colin. That's not true. That's not true. It can't be, right? I mean, I, I, I guess we'll just have to find out. Receiving first. I don't like that. I don't like receiving first. Justin Herbert, who won best the AFC best quarterback of the year. But another season, Justin Herbert season. <laughs> well, my season. Just interception problem. 20. Not, not that much, but also a lot. Yeah, all these corners are going to be. Very difficult to stop. Alright, yeah, these corners are kind of fast too. It's like they were ready for that. Gonna try to run right here. There we go. Big hit by that safety. Looked like it was Ronnie Harrison or something like that. do have hot route master so which could turn out to be very good for us underneath Joe there we go breaking a tackle getting a couple yards and that's an intro that's a pick six They read that so perfectly. Yo, man. Damn, nigga. All right. So, <laughs> this game starts off very... That's a strange way to start off the game. Somehow, it was a legal blocker downfield and... Or a legal man downfield. And now, we're down 7-0 for the first time in quite some time. Oh my god, they're just covering well. This is scary right now. There's no way this is happening. Oh lord. And he drops it. Oh my god. What is happening? Alright, see the quarterback is. Hopefully they fucking suck on offense because we were sucking on offense. Man, Colin Kaepernick. Not a good season, but all right. Let's just try to lock down here on defense. Come here, good tackle. I didn't know who that was. General Rosa. Thought said like number twelve. I was gonna say who the fuck is number twelve? Tom Brady. Come on, fellas, play defense, play defense. Got to stop. Oh, let's go. That's huge. Oh, I jumped a little, I jumped like a, almost a split a second later. Like a, a millisecond later, it would have been over. It really would have been over. There you go, Hunter. Truck him. All right, we're at right here in scoring threat. Underneath. Gonna have a lot of space to run. Good yards by Justin. Not Justin. Joe. Joe. I feel like I could run this actually. No, I can't. It's gonna be like a fucking dragish handoff. Touchdown. Let's go. Dorian, alright. That was a better drive right there. Alright. If you're only gonna be able to do it on defense, then I don't think you guys will win this game. 
Because, yeah, I might make some mistakes like I did in that first drive, obviously. But I'm never going to continuously make mistakes. It just is not going to happen like that. There we go. Tackle for loss. Austin Eckler going down. Negative five rushes. Not rushes. Negative five yards on the day so far. Someone bring. About to say, bro. Somebody bring him down. He literally standing right next to y'all bravely. Not a care in the world. Someone has to bring him down. No way. I was about to say, no way he catches this. We have them clamped. But they have all day in the pocket, what it seems like. They're having a good, a strong five seconds until we kind of get in. And then, and then I don't know, you know. It's like, I don't know. What, what, what do we do? All right, let's have another strong drive, take the lead. Put some more pressure on him. Justin Herbert has some intro today, but he has been decent in every other aspect, I guess, since that intro. Might run. No, nah, let's not even do that. Let's just switch the play. All right, they go back. But he's still blitzing, so it doesn't. Wow! What a play. No way. That's crazy how you made that play. Wow, all right. Well, I don't feel like we're going to get this, so just run the screen. Oh my god, we actually got it. That's crazy. That was just a elite block, elite level block. Good catch, Hunter. Let's go. All right. Got the first qu first quarter jitters out the way. Um you know, it, it is what it is. And this looks like a fairly easy um, run in. And almost getting. Sure, he was down. They're sending a heavy blitz at us. So here's what we'll do we're going to block him and. Put him on an out. Put Henry on an out. I'm looking at Hunter Henry initially. There we go. Easy. Let's go, Hunter. It's going to be a second touchdown of the day. Second straight touchdown, as I say. If you don't have it on offense, you're not going to beat us. Because imagine us losing off defensive touchdowns. Which is funny enough. I think that's kind of how we lost against this team when we last time we faced them in two years ago or last year technically good tackle I didn't think they would run that I was gonna blitz but I was like nah there's no way they run it they, you know they run it but that was my spot What a what a play. Let's go. Get there. Emmanuel. Let's fucking go. I'm like. Really good way to play that receiver too. I think we blitzed on that play. Pressure didn't really get in. Throws it to him. Just not a really good decision there. Especially on a throw. Like, you might want to try to, like, lob it. Even if it does go out of bounds or it goes too far. You know, just try to get it out there. But now look. Just like every other team. that had us in a very good spot or, you know, tied up or something. You actually had the lead on us. And you kind of, you know, not here. In the, 
Like I just said, you're in the position that every other team that faced us is in. Good tackle. Let's go. Imagine they run right here. This would be a crazy run. You got the first. There we go. Chen Nawosu. Loving it. And they're short. It's going to be third and what, four? Third and five. They're going to punt. They're just not aggressive. <laughs> this is what it is. Down by 14, and you're punting from midfield. I mean, the only reason I really agree with the punting decision is because the amount you're down by. But the position of field you would be giving up, I would kind of go for it. I would have to be like, you know what? What are we really missing out on? Because just with that one play, I'm almost at the same spot in the field you were just at. Getting the first eight rushes, 25 yards. Not the cream we've seen in the regular season, but can you feel me? We're trying. That was a little burst of it right there. All right, we're at the two-minute warning now. We're in threat to score. It's open. I, I don't suspect there'll be a blitz on this play. Oh, he's still up. He's still up. All right. I just had to get that ball out. I had to get it out. I threw that right to him. I should have fucking threw it more to the inside. That was a horrible play by me. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you see that guy? Like, he just rushed freely in. Where's this day y'all feel the rush you with this? We know we got the leg. Accurate kick. Kick is up. Kick is light. Light cheese, man. Light on the mayo. Alright, we're 20... We're 24. <laughs> we're up 24 to 7. Um, This Jags offense is not really getting it done. They have yet to get close to that red zone or even a field goal range at that. Just not getting it done. And he's going down to Joey Bosa. They do get ball at half, so you know there's that. Oh, he is so lucky. Still attack for loss. Funny. It's going to be fourth down. We're going to call a timeout. <laughs> I mean, y'all should have put two clock on or something, but y'all didn't. Y'all decided to run right there for some reason. Give them a crosser. Put Dorian underneath and put Burton on a slant. Let's see what gets open, fellas. They sent the blitz. This is wide open. And... Justin, not Justin. Oh, yeah, Justin Herbert has another touchdown, and Joe Reed also has a touchdown there. I don't know if you know he had one already. But it was just some, they blitzed. Um, Joe Reed was wide open. Just a nice, easy catch. We put Hot Route Master on him, and this is going to make our life a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier. Because before it was only a few people. And that means I could take hot route, um, route tech, not route technician, 
Well, I could put Rock Technician on a few other people, and I could take, um, I don't even know what the ability's called. It's something that gives them hot routes. Like, wide receiver apprentice, Titan apprentice, like shit like that. I could take those abilities off the other people, because he has hot route master now. I don't need it. I don't need them to have wide receiver apprentice. So halftime, we are up 31 to seven. Only points they had was that pick six they had early in the game, which I made a mistake on. And I feel like that that's what our game is. We we have um Well teams have one chance to capitalize on the mistakes we make. And there's about one mistake I make a game. Good tackle. Good shit. Greedy Williams. That was so horrible. And now they're switching to something else. They're targeting that tight end a lot, which once again yeah, is good, but there we go, Cordero. That was a really good blitz. They tried to get us with the run, did not fall for it at all. Oh, this is just a good screen. Just a good screen. Being honest, I read it so late. By the time I read it, I'm already blocked. So actually in field goal range right now, which I said they didn't get to yet. And what do you know? They're here. He actually keeps it. And he holds on to the ball. This man is like 39, bro. You 36! There you go. Nice one. Jerry Tillery. Nope, it's Anderoso. Alright, hitting the goalpost. So that hit the goalpost and... We into it. Would that be an into? That'd be interesting. Ah, oh, all right, good. I'm still going for four, um, seven. I have to go for a touchdown here. I just wouldn't be able to do this field bro. What, 10 to 31? No, I couldn't do that. I mean, points is points. Uh, it's just playoffs, though. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? This is not a regular season game where you're just, uh, we're just trying to get the, no. You're in the playoffs. Go for seven. You had a very good drive, not gonna lie. Very good. Some converges in there. I'm feeling you have me right where you want them. But you need seven on those. You need to have seven. With the offense we have, yeah, already seven receptions, 137 yards, and one touchdown for Joe Reed. It's looking easy. Yo. They have the most athletic line ever, man. I'm going to tell my line to slide right. See if it gets open. Ah. All right, nothing happens. <laughs> Actually, did not work out how I thought it would at all. Big hit, no fumble. Lee Jones should get in the fumble on that. Complete to DD Westbrook. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 34 yard line. Someone brought him down. They did. Trayvon Tap. Come 
come on. Threw that shit right into coverage. Troy Apke. Second into of the day. And we're right here in scoring opportunity already. No way. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Oh, it's fourth quarter now. Great. We're almost in an hour recording. We're going to do slider blockers left. See what gets open. No way, yeah. He played that really good. Can't be mad at that for real. He just played really well. Okay, just ran right past him. Mayo Mosley. Come on, fellas. There we go. Chen Wilson was coming with another sack. Let's stick in man. Man looks like it's working. That was inbounds, no fucking way. It's not that important for me to catch. They're still down by a lot, so I really don't care. I'm trying to get him so bad with Troy Apke. But he's just not ever going to shed blocks like that. Blitz, blitz his fucking brains in. There we go. Joey in the zone. Now you're in trouble. You gotta move Joey up again. Another into. This could be returned. It will be. Derwin. Nice block. Could have been a block in the back, but who cares? Puts him in the zone. Once again, you drove all the way down field just to get intoed in the red zone. Uh. That's just what it is, man. Um, yeah, David and Joke was having a good game. Wonderful. No touchdowns on the day because... His offense completely shits the bed. Good tackle. Aloy Gilman. Aloy! Another into. Another into. Middle Brooks. I'm just call you Mill Brooks like I have been doing for the past time now. We're just gonna put two o'clock on. I don't care about you guys anymore. It's not. There we go. Kareem Fortune rushes about 60 yards on a day. And there's another enter. Even though I'm kind of in front of him, it's another into by Joe Show Showbread. Well, I don't know if he has an into, but they definitely have an into. Come on, somebody. Uh, we just couldn't get it. They actually go timeout for some reason. They want points. Y'all want another field goal? And there's a sack. We're going to end it like that. We're going to end it like that. Ended on a good note for us. Uh, they came in here. Uh, Love Lady going to make a statement early. But. You know. Uh, it's, how, it's, it's how you continue to make that statement. And they just didn't have it on offense. Tom Kaepernick on day two. Had, he actually had more yards than us. 266 yards. And. Uh, 
No touchdowns, but five interceptions. Justin Herbert did have one of his worst games of the playoffs or in general. 213 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Just not a good overall game. Cream Hunt had a all right game. Also not very impressive. Not where we used him. 14 yards to 59 yards, 4.2 on the ground. No touchdowns. Joe Reed had a big, big game. Eight catches, 146 yards, one touchdown. David Njoku had 10 catches, 74 yards, no touchdowns. DJ Chuck had 65 yards. Also, Echo had 57, and the rest of you know, our team just wasn't really involved. Durango had one catch for nine yards, and it was a touchdown. Which I necessarily don't even remember, but that did happen. Defensively, they were there today, man, and so were we, kind of. Greedy Williams, well, not Greedy Williams. Derwin James, two tackles for loss. Osho and Chen Rosa had one. Michael Brockers had a tackle for loss. Joey Rosa, Aloy Gilman, Drew Tranquil, Kenneth Murray Jr., Greedy Williams, Mr. Adley, Josh Allen's in there, Tate Bryan's in there, and Joshua Rosa's in there. So a lot of our players on our team had tackle for loss, and kind of so did this. We had two sacks, well, two people with two sacks on the day, and that was Joey Rosa and Chen Rosa. The dominant duo off the edge. Also, Trayvon Tapp got in there with a sack. Cordero Ellis. And they sacked us with Devontae Molden. Troy Abke had two intros on the game manuals. We had one. Sherrod Millbrooks had one. Chris. <laughs> I said Chris. CJ Henderson had one. Jaya Zan had one. Derwin James had one. And Joe Schober had one. I think we scored two touchdowns off interceptions. So not a bad game, not a bad week, but you know we just kind of dominated. And we shut them, we shut them out in the second half. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, we did. Oh no, no, they scored in the third. But we had a good game. We had a good game. All right, we advanced to the conference championship. That was the division, ladies and gentlemen. You had to give us a scare in the beginning, but bad teams are gonna remain bad. Remember that. Moving on. To the AFC Conference Championship. One win away from the Super Bowl. We're facing the 9-7 and seven Ravens. I think we faced them last year in the Conference Championship. I think. I'm not really... Memory's not too strong on that. Let's see what happened on the other side. Um, so it is going to be Seahawks do advance. They dominate them as we do dominate the Jaguars. Eagles win. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough one. You know, it might just be Seahawks Chargers. But if we don't get in, it could be a bird game. Ravens are um, Eagles. Ravens are Seahawks. I mean, we're going to have to see what happens with that one. And, you know, I think that's all we got to get into in this one. We're one way a win from, oh, yeah, we have a player of the week. On both sides of the ball, we have Joe Reed and Derwin James. That's a big one. So what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, we have a, a big game in next week in the conference championship against 9-7. Ravens, I don't think we face them this season. Actually, let's check if we face them this season. A lot of AFC teams we really don't face in the regular season. Anyways, yeah, we didn't face them in the regular season. So, I don't know. Last time we faced them was last year in the conference championship or sometime in the playoffs last year. Which is interesting. Or we didn't even face them last year. I don't know. I just don't remember. Um, I always say I'm going to spend Coach XP. I will do that next, beginning of the next episode. I will. Because I had to get in a lot. I had to get into um, stats, season awards, upgrades were a lot, and still going over the team we're facing. And this came up to like an hour 15 or more. I was going to be cut up, but this is before I record. So, anyways, if you did enjoy, surely you like. See you next video. Until next video. Peace. You're not a man, man, they man handled you. Once these bitches flip flop, they'll sandal you. I'll light your ass up, I'll candle you. I'll take your whole shit down, dismantle you. Don't get played, little bitch, piano you. Cups so thick, shit look like animals. She eat my dick.